Hey YouTube, today's video is a massive kitchen. These are all built in PV, PVE, Xbox official servers. Um, this is on Gen 1 map. Uh, if you ever would like to make a nice kitchen style house that houses everything you need for making recipes, kibble, and whatnot, this is a uh, build that I did. Let's come on in. First thing you notice is Dinoticus eggs. Out of the way, you got your males on the very top, and then your females are underneath, and how to float them is you support them on the floor. You basically make you a whole floor, but you only have it have one snap point. Once you get everybody lined up, you break that one snap point, causing the rest of it to break, and they all stay up there and float. Just make sure you have them on ignore group whistle and passive, and... Uh, Instant kibble legs. And then stacking cryo fridges for your R seeds. That was a long and painstaking process getting all of these seeds collected or paid. So that way you have the ultimate meat farm. A lot more fish meat and just regular raw meat plants are up front. And then you got your primes and spoiled and whatnot. And then you got all your veggies. With berries being very easy to get, uh, we didn't do berry plants. Um, but if you ever need them, you can always plant berries. Uh, the kitchen side, for those people, especially during the 4th of July event that like jerky, lots of jerky up there. You got your grills on this side, and your refrigerators, and cooked meat, whatever you need, water taps. And you got Kim Bench on one side with items that you need for making chem benches. Um, these daddy boxes are just pushed through a standard door frame, so that way they can be accessed. To me, it just I think it looks really clean like that. Um, salts, and then this side would be your, your uh, cookers. That was uh, very fun trying to get these to line up perfectly. Lots of uh, placing and breaking, placing and breaking of the uh, water pipes to get it to fit perfectly. And then uh, more refrigerators. And then when you want to do your jerky, just come up top and line them all up. And lots of jerky can be produced very, very quickly. Uh, troughs to feed the, uh, the Dinoticus. And then, of course, you can always use the troughs to throw eggs in. Hold a lot more than a uh, refrigerator. Got an egg incubator. I think we uh, occasionally do put a, uh, a male up there for color. We use them. You can tell it's not finished painted yet. I guess we got to do some painting. All of these do have 300% greenhouse effectiveness. Um, the water supply for these, believe it or not, you could do it two ways. This actually works down here. But what I like to do is I like to try to tuck them inside. Um, and they're all easily accessible each one of them and then back out here is a little uh since you're on the ocean you i have a bee little house out here where you got all your honey for veggie cakes built these on an ocean platform or not an ocean platform excuse me a cliff platform so that way uh all your bees could be uh placed right next to the kitchen as always if anybody has any questions feel free to leave a comment and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thanks guys have a great day